Imagine that your job tells you to do an inspection in a beautiful place, with crystal clear water and a beautiful city. Years ago, you and your wife were there, without children and at the beginning of your relationship. You both fell in love with the place, so when the opportunity arose to go back there, even for work, you decided to take your whole family, so they could enjoy a mini vacation. However, what seemed like paradise turned into a nightmare in a matter of hours. A huge shark appears, the biggest that everyone in the place has ever seen and his family is right in the middle of the sea, suffering constant attacks from the animal. Now you'll have to find a way to get back to shore alive. I'm Lancelot and in today's summarizing animes we will watch The Black Demon. The story begins with the family taking a trip to a place that the children's parents say is very beautiful. On the way to the hotel, Ines already pulls her husband's ears when she finds out that he didn't even call the place to book the room, because according to Paul, the place is never crowded. However, as the family entered the city, they found the place completely different from what they expected, it seemed that the beauty had been abandoned. The hotel that the parents had mentioned ended up being deactivated and now they will have to find a place to spend the day, so Paul can do his work and leave the city. Paul asks some residents for help, however he is not well received, it seems that the local population does not really like the company the man works for. So Ines decides to intervene, since she speaks the residents' language better, which would be Spanish. The woman manages, by handing over some money, for a man to take them to a restaurant, so that the mother and children can wait for Paul to return from inspection. On the way, the family passes by a sanctuary dedicated to the god of protection and Tommy, after falling a little behind, decides to take a small statue that was on the altar and leaves a chocolate in its place. When they are already at a table in the restaurant, Paul arranges with Ines that he will go to the platform to do his work, while his wife enjoys the place a little and looks for a hotel for them to stay. The man leaves the restaurant and goes towards a small boat that is waiting for him, on the way to the oil company, Paul asks the man who is driving the boat about what happened in the city that made it stay like that and where are the fishermen and the amount of residents that were there before. The man says that El Diamante, the name given to the oil company, woke up El Demonio. Later we see that this man has passed Paul onto another small boat, which he will drive alone to El Diamante. The man said that he doesn't go beyond that place, because there is bad energy. As Paul doesn't believe in legends, gods or bad energy, he didn't realize that something could be wrong. Meanwhile, Tommy reads a summary on the internet about the god Tilak, known for being the god of rain, the lord of lightning, thunder, lightning, the third sun and lord of one of the paradises. In his research, Tommy discovers that God has already stopped it from raining after his girlfriend was stolen, so he decided to ignore all the prayers made for rain. Afterwards Tommy goes to the bathroom and as soon as he leaves, a man decides to approach Ines and Audrey. He is inconvenient and hits on his mother, then the man turns his attention to the teenager and takes her arm. Ines gets furious and breaks a bottle over his head, then gathers her children and the three of them run out of the establishment. When they arrive at the family car, they realize that the tires have been punctured by a knife, so Ines decides to go with her children to Paul, as the man and his allies are following them. Returning to Paul, when the man arrives on the platform, he finds it looking abandoned and as he enters the rooms, he realizes that the team has not been there for some time. However, when he enters a dormitory, he finds a little dog and then two men appear. Chato and Junior say that there is no one but them there and then the men start to hear the noise of a boat approaching. Through the binoculars they realize that it is Paul's family and the two men begin to despair. They throw flares into the water and hit the structure of the platform, as if they wanted to draw attention to something. The three manage to disembark at El Diamante and we then see the boat that took them there being swallowed by a mega shark. Ines takes the children inside, while the men think about what they can do. The shark has been trying to take down the platform for some time and due to the fragile structure, the two men who were there fear that it will succeed soon, so Paul will have to find some way to get his family out of there. 
Chato and Junior will go down in diving suits to repair what will allow the generator to be started and then they will be able to use the radio to communicate. Ines asks the men when they are getting ready about the origin of the shark and Chato says that he believes it to be a curse. When the platform was inaugurated, everyone was happy, as it would create new jobs for the residents. However, her flaws began to be ignored and the harm she caused to nature, too. After the shark appeared, Chato concluded that El Diamante woke up El Demonio. The curse was sent by Tilak, due to the man's greed in destroying everything around him. Chato adds that the animal is not a simple mega shark, as it makes people see things that are not real, and it will only stop when a great sacrifice is made. Paul freaks out on Chato, telling the man not to fill his family's heads with this madness, but Ines sides with Chato, because like it or not, the shark is out there. In the end, the plan has to continue, so Chato and Junior go down to the bottom of the ocean, where what they want to fix is located and Paul stays on the platform, careful to pull the equipment at the right time, to bring them both back. Down below, Chato discovers that there is a bomb planted in the structure of the platform, with time running out, something that is new even for him. And Junior starts to hallucinate at a certain point, so he realizes that the shark must be nearby and runs to the shelter that took them to the bottom of the sea. Unfortunately Paul was wrong when he said that the protection would withstand the shark bite, as Junior ended up being split in half. Chato was the one who was saved, he swam to the surface and Paul helped him out of the water. When the men went to take away Junior, who seemed to be unconscious, they found his body only half completed. Later, because Ines and Paul are nervous, they start to fight, the man throws in his wife's face the fact that the family wasn't supposed to be there, so he wouldn't be under so much pressure to get them out of there. And soon the two calm down, with his wife apologizing and in the end they both recognize that it is something that is not to blame. Later, Paul begins to have hallucinations, the man sees boats along the sea and Chato has to shout at him to make him realize that there is nothing. Later, when Paul is with his family, the man hears from his son that Tilak liked sacrifices made with children. Paul pays attention to his son's explanation and then calms him down, saying that they won't have to do anything like that. However, this conversation the man had with Tommy made him think of a plan. Meanwhile, the boy took the small statues that were in the place, along with the one he took from the sanctuary and placed them in a little wooden boat, Tommy named each one with their name and the last one left as if it were to lock and then, put the little boat in the sea. However, the doll that had been named Paul, the boy's father, ended up sinking, but the others remained. Ines was also busy. The woman found some documents about El Diamond, where there were several notes about the errors in the platform, which would be enough for it to be deactivated a long time ago. At the end of the reports, there was Paul's signature, which means that the man knew about the circumstances and decided to ignore them. However, everyone stopped what they were doing when they heard Tommy's screams in the water. The mega shark had hit the structure again, which made the boy fall into the sea. Ines didn't think much and immediately threw herself into the water to save her little one and with luck they both managed to get out of the sea alive. Later, when Paul approaches his wife and children to check on them, Ines doesn't even want to talk to him. The woman says that she found out about the man's signatures and that he is responsible for everything that happened in this place, for all the people who lost their lives. And so their relationship becomes quite strained. Chato managed to fix the radio and for a brief moment sent a message to that little boat that took Paul halfway, warning them that they are in an emergency situation at the oil company. And Audrey and Tommy managed to find a boat that is full of holes, However the girl manages to think of a solution to fix it and with styrofoam from life jackets, acetone and nail polish, the girl manages to fix the boat so they can use it, it to leave the place. Paul will be the one who will stay to carry out the plan, while Chato will go with his dog and family safely to the coast. Before they start going crazy, Audrey suggests they say a prayer and for the first time, Paul seems to believe at least a little in the belief that there is someone bigger and more powerful than human beings. Paul goes down to the bottom of the sea to get the bomb, enter the bell and finish off the mega shark. 
Chato helps the man get ready and unfortunately, there is one more obstacle, the oxygen tank, the only one left, is almost empty, but Paul will continue anyway. The man almost manages to complete what he planned, however the lack of oxygen was a big problem and he decides to spend what little he has left saying goodbye to his family. Paul left a gift for Chato in his backpack that the family took together on the boat, it is the document that indicates all the problems that the platform has and that the company ignored, if the man can get it to the right place, the city and families will be rewarded, and the company is punished for its actions. In the next scene we see Paul catching the mega shark's attention and the animal swallowing him. But then there is the explosion, which ends El Demonio and El Diamond. The family and Chato were rescued by the island's residents in a small boat, and soon it started to rain. In the end we see that little boat that Tommy had put in the water with his haste and it is sunk. What did you think of this film? I hope you liked the summary. Leave your suggestions in the comments and subscribe. If you liked the video, like and share to help me, until next time.